Well, hello, YouTube community, again. Um, I just recently watched the uh, EWE response to uh, the huge announcement from the power plant. And I just want to say that I, I strongly, strongly disagree with a lot of the things that Alan and David said. I couldn't even watch all of David's video because I, there's a few things <clears throat> that I want to get off my chest or I should say there's a few things I want to set straight and one of the most important things that I want to set straight when Styles was running the power plant who do you think it was that told him to shut it down because Styles was gonna keep it going but although I was working my tedious work schedule I was still looking in the locker room I saw the things that were getting said so guess what I sent Styles a text message and I told him shut down the power plant now, why would I tell him to do that? You may be wondering. Well, I was brought into light about a specific video that was uploaded onto, onto YouTube privately, of course. And I wasn't going to show it, but I, I almost feel obligated to show it now because Alan decided he wanted to read from what was in the locker room leading up until the website, or up until the locker room was removed from the website. So I'm going to give you the raw the raw video footage here of Alan that's you Alan that's uh that's you <laughs> that was Alan saying what he was saying about styles and that that was this that's what this whole big thing was around so just take a few moments here you're gonna listen to what Alan said about styles you know what blaze said too and I have nothing against blaze but before I play this video there is one other thing I'd like to say before I get to the video and then I'll get to the rest of it Blaze, you know, yeah, you're a good friend and stuff, and the messages you sent me on Xbox about going to TXW, yeah, that's cool and all that you are going to TXW, I guess, but when it comes to a point where you're not allowed to associate yourself with anybody from another league or whatever, I think that is complete bullshit. You want to know why? Because if it wasn't for me... After Five Star Championship Wrestling went under, where would you have went? I'd rather see you in OWA, to be honest, not in some bullshit TXW in it for the subscribers. But hey, that's you know personal choice by you. If you want to remove me from your friends list because TXW said you can't be affiliated with other people from leagues, that's fine, that's dandy, whatever, you know. But don't be expecting me to send you a message on the PlayStation Network just because it's not the TXW thing because you know what I'm over it but right now we're gonna get to the video with Alan and what he had to say so just sit back relax enjoy and uh, I'll be right back in just a couple of minutes oh, I've, quit. I've quit the power plant <laughs> yeah that, I said to Styles, what's no, no, the no, point no. of doing, what's the point of, Blake, you agree with me, what's the point of doing tables, Matt, when it's two weeks late? Well, you guys will leave it out, but I don't care. Uh, yeah. I'm going to be honest, I, 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 quite frankly, go, go quite look frankly, at locker I room, do not go care. Look at, go and look at the locker room and see what he wrote, you'll find out. Okay, uh, I'll, 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 I'll yeah. read it, I'll, I'll read out what he said. I said, I said, I said, right, no point doing tables match, really, and he said, Alan, if you're going to sit around talking trash about everyone, about why things are not getting done, you can see your ass out the door, this isn't a drama league, I ha about had it with you, I spent a lot of time here to please everyone, and if you're going to sit there and disrespect people, which I'm not, that can not do their job because people do not show up when others online, I just, you know, I speaking to I strongly suggest you watch it, Alan. I'm about fed up about with you and your piss poor attitude and sick of the drama you bring with Sam here. Sam always brings it, I just defend myself. And I'm sick of um, talking behind everyone's back, which I do not. EWE ain't nothing, he's basically saying. And you have no idea what it takes to run a league. Well, Crazy Wolf, do I know what it takes to run a league? No. Thank you, Crazy Wolf. No, <laughs> as, no, as a, as no, I disagree. Exactly. 
<laughs> okay, boys, okay. As a matter of uh, fact, if everyone is not happy here, you can kick rocks. I spend countless hours, see, he puts too much effort into it, which he shouldn't, trying to make everything work here. That was what PaulChampship Wrestling.com, he'll end up bringing back CCW with Chandler. And I wrote, oh, I, I wrote, I, I quit. You, yeah, now he is. And I wrote, okay, I wrote, I quit, you can let the power plant, I usually crumble for all I care, I'm going my own way. Ooh, harsh. Burn. <laughs> well, really, if he's ever said that stuff, I'd be fine. Yeah, but let's all be honest, the power plant's pretty much dead. We can all agree on that. No, he actually tries, but he, but he did a Semerara. He was doing good, but then he let loose a bit and then he just went down. He, down he's down. going to CCW now. It won't, if he can't run the park plant, I don't think he can run CCW. Thank you, Wolf. We have not had a match done in a week or two, and Styles can record. He says he's only going to do the editing and shit like that, right? He has an easy cap. Die Hard has had to do all this in a week. So he's basically been plain lazy. <gasps> oh, I do not like him, though. <laughs> no. There's a fine line between liking someone and really fucking hating them. You have gone to the... Uh, yes, I fucking... No, I don't. I'm joking. He's right. I actually... No, he's actually quite a cool dude. I, I don't he's, mind him. He's cool. He's cool. But he just puts too much effort into this when you don't really need to put in hours into this. You only need to put in an hour or so into it and just take a break. Okay, so I hope you guys were able to withstand, you know, that whole rigmarole. But one other thing that I definitely want to point out, uh, when Alan had said that I kept booking myself against David, and uh, that really cracked me up, I'm going to give everybody a little bit of history on the Power Plant Championship, the World Heavyweight Championship. Okay. The first power plant champion, it was me. I won it in a fatal four-way, or I mean in a battle royal, sorry. Battle royal, it was on 07. It had myself, fresher than you, who was a five-star on 07. Rocky Big Mike 07, who was a five-star on 07. And I can't remember the fourth guy's name now. But I ended up, I sent him a call because he didn't have one. Okay, so I won that match, and I completely dominated fresher than you at the at our breakdown pay-per-view which was the Royal Rumble and I let him beat up on me a little bit to make the match look good well then Louis, then the power plant went to 2010 Luigi uh, Luigi Master 64 he came in yes he did beat me in a last man standing match he did he won it but then he failed to show up for like three weeks in a row so I cut him from the roster the title was then vacated and at that time, we had Bam Gamer 95 in the power plant. And he is, hands down, one of the best to have ever been in the power plant. The best. I don't care what anybody says, he was the best. Bam and me did our, you know, our Iron Man match at Collision for the power plant title. And it was a spectacular match. I mean, he actually, he could have beaten me. Like, he legitly tied up the match one-to-one. -one. I I won within like the last 24 seconds of the match. So <laughs> okay, so Bam was where it all began for Die Hard, right? That's where it all began. And then I started this flurry of doing these matches. Now, I gave Allen a shot at the Power Plant Championship in uh what was it? I want to say it was Judgment Day. Yes, it was Judgment Day. And I Allen could have won, you know, and I the week before, like the week before the pay-per-view in the in the weekly matches, I beat him with the dirty pin. Well, I didn't I didn't use dirty pin in our match. I pinned him normally. Guess what? He did not kick out. He lost. So then I moved on. 
I fought David at SummerSlam. And then Joe, he was the obtuse angle there that was whining and crying because I, I've never gotten a power plant championship shot, but David and Allen have. So guess what? I gave Joe a title shot at No Mercy, and he lost. Doesn't surprise me at all. You know, and so that happened like that. Well, then, at the time, David was the only guy in the power plant out of Sam and whoever that actually deserved a championship match. And I, the only reason he deserved a championship match was because of the matches I was putting him, putting him in. Now, when I think of the... Okay, and I'm not saying this to be insulting or anything like that. Yes, David did win his debut match against Bam. He beat him. He beat him with a sharpshooter. He made him tap out. That That's fine and dandy. But the one thing is, after that match, when is the last time David technically won one a match? Other than his colli- or his final frontier win against me, which I want I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But uh, before then, when is his when was his last actual win? I didn't I, I didn't think anybody was going to respond for that one cuz it had been a long long time. Now, yes, David did give me good matches up until, you know, Final Frontier. Now, we were I want to say it was 2 weeks outside of Final Frontier. And, you know, I had been the champion for almost a year. And I was sitting there, and I was like, you know, I was like, everybody was, everybody kept saying, Dyer, you're never going to lose a title, blah, 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 this, blah, 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 that. Well, I, I wanted to open the championship era up for everybody else. I wanted other people to be able to get that title. And David really did seem like a deserving individual to give the championship to. So, yes, I did job at Final Frontier. At no way out. I did job. Oh, okay. That's that's fine. But then at Collision, our, that's that's the Power Plants WrestleMania, by the way. That is the main event. That is the grandest stage for the Power Plant right there. Collision. Guess what happens? David mentioned it in his video. In eight minutes, he beat Sam Mysterio. I tried to give Sam the opportunity to win a championship. Guess what? They both played like extreme tryhards. Did not look for a good match. They just looked for the, the quickest way for them to win. You know, and the funny thing is, although Zach's, I, I talked about Zach in, in my last video, Zach was, <laughs> he lost his match to Jordan Moore in the hardcore title match, which was like a 35-minute match. And then he turned around and he filled in in the tag team match, which was an additional 30-minute match. And it's funny because Zach... Myself and Devin held that tag team match together. I'm not saying Allen didn't do good in the tag team match, but there was a specific spot in that match that I still remember to this day because Brick Wall was whipped to the corner. He had his signature. He was whipped, or no, he had his finisher. He was whipped to the corner by uh, by Zach, and then Zach went to run at him and give him the his knees in the corner there. Well, Devin countered it. And the setup was perfect. And at the time, Devin's finisher was uh, a running spear. Well, he hit the running spear. Okay, that would have been a beautiful spot for Zach to be eliminated from the tag team match. But Allen had to ruin it by breaking up the pin. <laughs> and so, you know, the tag team match was when I when I ask a, a few people, you know, what would you rate all the matches at Collision, you know, on a scale of one to five? The very I, and I hate saying this, but the two last matches, the lowest rated match was the Power Plant Championship match between David Seidright and Sam Mysterio. It didn't have the chemistry that a championship match should have had. And then the second lowest match was John Wolf versus uh, I can't remember the guy's name now, but that was the second lowest match because it was the guy had never played SmackDown before and. It was just horrible for him. And when the, the top-rated match was the tag team championship match, followed by the hardcore title match. So until you can top that, I don't know what to tell you. When you can take it to the top with a tag team match, that's when you know you're doing good. Now, we go on. We're moving on in our cycle here of the time frame of the power plant. At any one time, I could have had the power plant championship back on my waist. It. And I'm not saying that the guys in the power plant were, weren't good. 
Okay, I'm not saying that in any way, shape, or form. Like I said, Craig Hazard and Blaze or C CFH Ion Scarred and I Blaze X, they are two. They are great at working a match and making it look really good. I mean, they make it look like you're almost watching the real thing. Now, that is two guys out of the UK, on the, off the top of my head, that were great competitors. Now, let's look at some other UK guys that weren't so hot. Okay, Alan. When, okay, Alan's title reigns. Okay, let's see. He was, if I'm not mistaken, he was a hardcore champion because his brother gave him the hardcore title because Alan filled in for David because David was in trouble or whatever. He was a tag team champion with Extreme, who at the time was my wife. So he, he's been a tag team champion with my wife, <laughs> and he was handed the hardcore championship. So right there doesn't tell me that Alan deserved to be in the main event. So I would put an X next to his name when I was scheduling match cards because he just wasn't the main event material. Now for David, he had a heck of a match against my brother-in-law. Uh, what was it? It was Final Frontier of 2010. It was, uh, it was David versus James Braden in a steel cage match. Brother-in-law came out on top, and it was it was a phenomenal match. You know, 2010 was very competitive in 2010, and with 2011, you know, things just kind of, things really changed. But I I strongly disagree that the power plant was made by the UK. I just I I don't agree with that just because I know <clears throat> for a fact that most of the guys in the UK or most of the guys in the UK that were in the power plant weren't half as good as 25% of the guys from the United States. I mean, when I think about it, you know, and I, I know I may get some negativity from this one, especially for anybody that was in the power plant or anybody that knows the situation that happened with John Terrace uh, or Zergmare. Now, granted, he did bail a couple of times. He did leave. When I was at Extreme, he, he bailed on Extreme a few times. It, you know, left extreme in handicap matches. The funny thing is, though, even in handicap matches, I was still kicking a lot of ass. I don't really understand that. And those were against guys that had been in the power plant for a long time. But Zergmare was another one of those guys that was in the power plant that just, he did what he was supposed to do. Why do you think he became a tag team champion? Okay, so we continue on this little path here. And for Allen to say that he respects Styles and he respects me, you don't show you respect somebody by that video that I played earlier of you sitting there talking to Blaze and to John, running your mouth. That's not showing respect as you say it. That, that's not respectful. That's very disrespectful, if anything. So <laughs> let's, let's talk about respect for just a minute here, okay? Who, do, who are people that I respect? Okay, people I respect... And I know that Whoop Ass is going to watch this video. And I know the other night, me and Whoop Ass had, uh, on Sunday, we had a kind of heated debate, whatever thing, on uh, in the PlayStation chat. And I'm over it now. Like, you know, he plays his way, whatever. I don't agree with it, and that's fine. But, do I respect Whoop Ass for the way he plays? No. Do I respect Whoop Ass for what he's been doing for the past two and a half years? Yes, I do. Because... The man, you know, he's keeping UWF going. He's keeping it going, and he's pushing forward. That's a great, great thing, because he's, in all reality, he is a prick. What best is a prick, and I, and I will say it to him in, uh, on the SmackDown. I'll say it to him wherever. Just so you know, what best, you're a prick. <laughs> I just want to let you know now. Uh, the, but, again, back to people that I respect. People I respect, Troy, or Kiros, and Joshua or Styles with a Z. And I respect them because I said in the other video, you know, if it weren't for them, there would be no other leagues. I don't care what Whoop Ass says. If it weren't for them, there would be no other leagues. I don't care what anybody says. If it weren't for them, there would be nothing. But for uh, so many people to say that they're better than the power plant, I didn't realize that we're still in high school. I didn't realize that YouTube 
was an, an extension of being in high school. What I do is I go to work, I make a paycheck, and I pay bills. Now, for Alan and David, they live at home with their parents or whatever. Whoop ass, he's on his own. I know that. That man's got to make money too. But for other leagues to say that, like the the whole best wrestling league thing that uh, freaking TXW did, you know, yeah, that was just, <laughs> that made me laugh. <laughs> but I'm just saying, don't claim, don't, don't claim you're better than somebody unless you honestly know. That that's what I'm getting at. And don't say don't say you respect somebody and then go behind their back and run your mouth. You know, because Alan, that video right there just showed that your respect for the power plant in general. And then you say that in the video you weren't trying to insult me or whatever. How are you not trying to insult me when you direct the video at the power plant? Who is the power plant? I am the power plant. Who made the power plant? I made the power plant. Who, if it weren't, you know what, if it weren't for me, then guess what? Nobody would know who Alan Seibright is. Nobody would know who David Seibright is. Nobody would give two shits about Sam Mysterio. Nobody would give a damn about No Fear Joe. Nobody would care about Tom or TDG 800, whatever his shit was at the end there. Nobody would know who the hell you guys are if it wasn't for me. So keep that in mind when you're sitting there making your response videos or whatever you're going to do trying to get back at me or whatever because I'm not going to sit here and have these video debates with you. Because you know what? When Style says, I'm not going to record the weekly show and when John says, I'll record the matches, I was there. You forget, I was there when John said he'd record the matches. And if John says he's online but it's not showing he's online, it means he's under invisible. It means send him a message be like, hey John, are you on? And then or send him a party invite, whatever. You know, do something along that line. So when you say that you respect somebody, you need to mean it. And not sit there and just spin it around and then run your mouth behind somebody's back. It's just not the way that things are supposed to work. And I just, I can't, I can't idly sit here and let you post these videos saying, oh, I respect you, Die Hard. I respect you, Die Hard. And you're right. You're right when you said you'd never be in the power plant again. And there's a reason for that. The reason being, I don't have the patience. I don't have the tolerance to deal with it anymore. I work too many damn hours. Too many. Oh, 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 and one other thing before I forget. You said it doesn't take hours on end to do, you know, website things, video things. That's where you're wrong, Alan. If you want a video to look good, it's going to take some time to edit it. If you want a website to actually look good, be spelled right, things like that, it takes some time. It's not all just, you know, easy P's and Q's. It's a little bit more of the rest of the alphabet, if you feel what I'm saying. So, alas, this this video is coming to an end here because I I have to go to work tomorrow and I have to do, you know, my work-related things. So, I just, I'm going to end this on a high note because I'm not mad that Alan posted the video. I'm not mad that David posted a video and said that, you know, things are crazy or whatever, we're crazy. Things were only crazy because a lot of the UK guys were starting the drama. Like today, I had to reban Sam Mysterio. I wonder why why did I have to reban Sam? Oh, that's right. Because he went into the locker room again. Again, he went into my locker room. He came onto the Power Plants website and ran his mouth. Again. You know, and you guys are making yourselves look like dumbasses by doing that. I already know your guys' home addresses. I mean do you really want me to dig deeper and get credit card numbers too? I mean, seriously, come on. Don't make, don't, don't take me to that place where I don't want to go. Don't make me do that because if I do it, I'm gonna seriously help out my Xbox Live subscription. I'm gonna have like four years of paid Xbox Live, or I'm gonna have me a whole lot of pre-orders of twelve. 
So, I'm just saying, if you respond to this video, Alan, David, whoever, you just might want to think twice. And I'm not trying to threaten you. I really am not. I'm just saying, you need to really soak in what was in the first video. I didn't say anything bad about anybody. Anybody in particular in the power plant. I didn't say anything bad in general. I just said it was United States only because of the time constraints. When I get when I get out of work, it's 11 o'clock at night, my time. Do you know what time it is in the UK? 4 o'clock in the morning. Are you going to be online to do your match at 4 o'clock in the morning? I didn't think so. So, <laughs> as I was saying, this is just, it's it's gone too far already. Because of all this mellow high school drama BS crapola whatever whatever you people want to call it that's what it's becoming and I don't want it to be that because I'm not looking to surround myself with a bunch of drama the power plant is it's fine I told Styles to shut down the power plant that last time I told him shut it down close it up for a little bit whatever and it wasn't going to come back it wasn't but because I have the nature of wanting to entertain, I brought it back. But this time it's not going to be the stressful entertaining that I've had to endure for the past year and a half. It's going to be the kind of entertainment that I've wanted from the beginning where it just goes fluidly, like when BAM was in the power plant. So again, if anybody outside of the power plant's watching this that's a power plant viewer or whatever, the uh, follow or the previous match card that we had will be it will be coming up soon. Just uh, working on my work schedule right now, and I gotta get a hold of Styles, and we gotta do some things. Oh, and uh, David, your your challenge to Styles. Oh, it's been accepted. It's true. It's damn true. Uh, I'm just letting you know. Styles says he will love seeing you in the ring. Oh, oh, and before I forget, Die Hard. He's putting out a challenge too. He's putting out a challenge to any other league or whoever to, uh, you know, to prove me wrong about cross promoting, cross platform promoting. To prove me wrong, please prove me wrong. If you can prove me wrong, I will give you twenty dollars. I swear to God. So, again, ladies and gentlemen, the power plan is completely fine. Videos will hopefully be uploading very soon and all that good stuff but one last thing Alan, David guys from the UK in general that were in the power plant besides AC Arthur is the one guy that's been caught in the crossfire when he shouldn't be caught in, cr in the crossfire because he wasn't here for all of the crap you guys are the reason why the power plant shut down in all honesty if we're just being honest here that is why the power plant shut down not because I wanted to take a complete break or whatever. In all reality, you guys were the reason. I'm sorry. I'm not saying that you were bad to work with when you were there, but it was hard enough getting a hold of you. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm Die Hard, and I will see you all on Xbox Live and PlayStation Network.